Hello, my name is Remy Sharp, and this is RemoteTilt.com. Um, basically, it's a one-line piece of JavaScript that gives you uh, remote device events uh, to help you debug and help you test. So here's the problem. I'm working on my um, desktop machine to develop this web application or this, this mobile web application, and it relies on motion events. And the problem is there's no way for me to easily test it. Now, maybe I do have um, a laptop that has um, uh, an accelerometer or a gyroscope inside of it, but there are other developers who are, uh, I use a MacBook Air, which doesn't have that, um, that sensor in it. Um, maybe you get into the simulator and it doesn't actually fire the events. And it's easier to actually build on your, your full machine rather than actually kind of quickly, constantly go back and forth to your mobile um, device that actually has the, uh, the real events uh, inside of it. So very simply, this is a one script include that you include into your page on any domain. Um, and it'll offer you two ways of actually um, sending remote uh, device orientation events. So this works for the uh, device orientation and the device motion events. Um, so here's a quick example I've taken from HTML5 Rocks. If I refresh the page, um, I get this little pop-up. This is the emulator, so I move the, uh, I can just scroll, sorry, just mouse down on the phone and you see the uh, events firing. I can just manually slide it back and forth. I can also emulate a bit of shake, um, which we can see in a, another example. So um, I've got this second example here, um, and our pop-up is here. Let's emulate that shake. You see all the values coming in. Uh, we move the mouse around. Um, this is the seismograph from um, is this an earthquake.com, and it allows you to actually test this on desktop. Now, um, if you don't allow the pop-up to open, um, it'll prompt you for uh, tell you that there was a pop-up to try to open, and if you hit cancel, it, it, you can then just tell the, uh, the browser to allow the pop-up through. If you don't hit cancel and you click OK, it'll give you a remote key back and you can use that key to remote control um, from another window. So, for instance, let's say you have your simulator running. So this is my iPhone um, simulator. Okay. Now, when I hit refresh, it's, it's uh, gonna send me a, give me a pop-up and say, if I wanna re remote control this, click OK. So I click on OK and I'm given a URL, so remotetilt.com um, O-H-O-L-O. -O. So I'm going to put that into my mobile phone here, okay, and I'll put um, uh, A-H-L-O, and I'm just going to hit OK on uh, this window, and on my mobile phone I'm going to hit OK, and now you can see, if I move my phone around, it's actually sending uh, the motion events directly to my, my, my emulator basically, which means that I can test it with a real phone um, but actually make kind of real-time changes on my desktop which is much much faster to actually debug with. So um, uh, this works much much better if you're on the same uh, Wi-Fi network um, and also I'm filtering the events that are going out so there's only uh, it, it basically throttles them so you don't get a ton of events going over the, uh, the wire uh, to make it a little bit more responsive um, but otherwise, you can uh, go over to remotetilt.com. Um, there's a bunch of demos at the bottom. You can submit your own demos as well, as there are only a few. Um, there's some directions on how to use uh, the actual script. You can download it and run it locally, or you can just inject the one from remotetilt.com. Um, and you can also specify your own key name. So every time you hit refresh, it gives you a new random key name, uh, a key, but you can actually just stick in your own key. So you know, your website name or whatever, and that way you can just keep hitting refresh and you'll, you'll reuse the same key and it won't keep prompting you with a pop-up. So thanks for watching, hopefully it's useful to some of you. Um, all the code is up on GitHub, so um, uh, there's a link right down at the bottom of the uh, remote tilt.com. Any bugs or any feedback, please just send us a message on there. Thanks for watching.